This is Chad and Dalton from Coyote Classics, and today we're doing a walk around and test drive on our 1967 Mustang convertible. We're gonna be doing these inside today because of the, the cold and the wind. Um, we still wanna be able to get these videos out for you guys and on the website. This is a factory eight code Mustang. Nice sound and dual exhaust. Can't run them too long inside the building. Uh, but wanted to make sure you guys can hear that, that engine run. Again, it's factory A-code car, so factory four barrel, high performance from the factory. In my opinion, the best, best year of the Mustang. Yeah, 67 is definitely my favorite as well. Um, another thing I wanted to point out here, it's factory air conditioning, guys. We do have the Marty report for it as well. Um, so it's got some really nice factory options, but it's got the factory tag here, um, as well as its VIN numbers on the uh, inner fender apron. Um, air conditioning, it's got a nice set of headers on it, power steering, power brakes, and just a fantastic car. It runs and drives great. So I remember when it first came in, we took it for a spin. Um, felt like driving Miss Daisy, you know, just really smooth riding car. Um, shortly after we did get it in, we used it in a parade yep. for the homecoming parade. So um, one of the kids took it in the homecoming parade uh, through town and uh, worked out perfectly. As we look at the top of the inner fenders, that's always a good spot to, uh, to look at on these Mustangs. Um, all nice and solid there, both sides. You can tell it hasn't had any patchwork on the top side of the... Uh, inner fenders. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, uh, there you'll see about 15 to 20 photos of the floors, uh, frame rails on it. Um, it's had some uh, floor pan replacement and stuff over the years. And I'm guessing the paint's probably about 25 years old on this one, Dalton. Yeah, it looks beautiful though. Oh, it does. And uh, I think the previous owner owned it since the early to, to mid 90s, I'm thinking. And as we look up and down the sides, just a pretty car. And I love the style steel rims, um, the blue uh, Mustang emblems in there, good looking rubber all the way throughout as well. If we look at the uh, gaps, if we look at the gaps here, um, top of the fender lines up really nice to the top of the door. Body lines are good. Really nice even gap from top to bottom. It does have the GTA emblems on it. It is not a factory GT car, uh, so they did add the GT stuff on it, but uh, I'm glad they did, Dalton. Yeah, I mean, it looks it, great. Even with the interior, too, they got the brush a little bit of the deluxe interior. Yeah, and that's definitely not cheap. I mean, that's GT only. As we look along the bottom side of this car, you know, they're gonna have a few little imperfections here and there, and I, I probably won't get them all marked out. I mean, if we look right here, you can see just some solvent pop right along here. Back of the hood lines up nice. It's like the bumpers are re-chromed during restoration. There's a beautiful shine on them. GT fog lights up front. Yeah, the horse and corral looks good. Front balance looks nice as well. This was an original springtime yellow car from the factory. Um, they did a nice job on the color change. Uh, both of the hood gaps are good from front to back. I'm glad they did the color change. I'd much, I'd much rather drive a, a red Mustang convertible than a, than a yellow one, to me. Yeah. that's just my opinion. I'm really glad they went with the blue um, caps. I mean, I like yeah. the, you know, just a little contrast there. Yeah, it looks nice. It's got the dual mirrors. Back part of the door's in great shape. Our body line lines up nice there as well. We do have a little paint chip right along there. And there's a little chip right here as well body work there. As we look over the wheel well, it's in excellent shape. Behind the wheel is in good shape as well. Got a nice boot. Looks like uh, when they restored the car, they did all new felts and rubbers as well. Door opens and closes nicely. Oh, your interior lights were too open the door. And all the, um, what do you call them? Guide lights. Yeah. I mean, look at the steering wheel. I mean, it's got the deluxe steering wheel. It's got the brushed aluminum door panels and dash. Um, absolutely gorgeous interior. If you're looking for just a nice driver quality car, 
a local car show, you know, cruise night car. That's what this is. It's not a trailer queen, but a beautiful driver with some cool options. You can definitely take it to any local car show, maybe win a ribbon, you know, definitely a, a very presentable car that runs and drives good, but it's not so perfect that you can't, uh, can't drive and enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. It's got the full council, all the council lights light up as well. Also has front disc brakes. But though it's not a GT, it's pretty much got everything uh, a GT would have. Yeah, and there's not much difference. I mean, the, the main difference from the GT that came factory is an A-code. Um, it's got the front disc brakes, got air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, power top, I think. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, the only thing really they change is the emblems and the freaking uh, fog lights. Yep. Yeah. Basically, the brushed aluminum in the interior. Yep. Yeah. Um, as we look up and down the sides, uh, the bottom of the door fits nicely in the back there. It's got the correct dual exhaust, back bumper looks excellent, tail light lenses and tail light chrome's nice. Check out how the back uh, trunk lid fits and even the chrome around it. For a Mustang, this thing really lines up nice all the way around. Really does. Most of them, do, trunk lids do not line up like that, especially in a convertible. Got the GT flip down gas lid. And the more I go around this car, the more I like it. Um, trunk lid on this side fits excellent as well. You can see they left the, the lines here when they repainted it. They didn't fill that in on either side. Yeah, paint's got a beautiful shine too, buffed out, excellent. Um, even the way the doors fit too. It's a nice gap. Driver's door fits just as nice as the passenger door. Really nice and tight there. Behind the rear wheel looks good. And while you're going down this side, I'm gonna take the boot off and now we can put the top up. Perfect. If we look right here in the paint, there are some little spots, guys. You can see just some little dust, um, some little solvent pop here and there. But like I said, I know the paint restoration work on this car is, is probably 20 plus years old. I think when I bought it, a previous owner had it since the early 90s, 94, something like that. So almost 30 years. A couple paint chips right along the edge here of the door. Another little chip right here. up nice and the car's got a really nice shine everywhere you look at it the very front corner of the door um it's not a bubble but it is a paint crack right there as far as our tire tread really good tread on those tires they're bfgs and they are raised white letters on the inside so if a guy likes that look, you can definitely change it up. So paint blemish right here. Again, just a couple of those spots I was talking about. It's your data tag. We do have, like I said, the Marty report, so that'll all come with it. Corner of the door is really solid. Doesn't have any repair down there. But you can see if you look really close, there's just a little bit of a springtime yellow paint where that's got a little chip right there. I'm gonna put that top up, D. Yeah, so you know if you want to look at the back seat first for Oh yeah, that cool, thanks so much. Um, yeah, the back seat's in beautiful shape. Nice and soft, it looks like when they redid the car, they must've went ahead and put new foam in it as well. Even the back uh, courtesy light on the console works. It's your factory power top switch right here. Looks like the top's newer. I'll tell you what, that power top really works nice too. Look at that. It doesn't, the you car. You don't have to struggle with it at all. I mean, that's how simple that is. So many of these tops, 
You know what I mean? You have to just fight and pull. This thing went right into place just like it should. Um, it's got all new pads in here, it looks like, too. So just a really Excellent. good top. And it looks good with a top up, too. Thanks to that black GT stripe along the rocker. Um, this car looks good whether you want to have the top up or down. I'm excited to get behind the wheel and take this thing for a spin. Let's do it. We're just jumping right into the action here. Down the highway, doing things a little ass backwards, but cool car. It goes down the road good. We were just at 75 mile an hour a few minutes ago. We're going to get there again. Yeah, kick down works perfect on it. Speedometer is right on. Um, doesn't bounce at all. The oil pressure gauge works good. Temperature gauge is coming up. Gas gauge works. What a great driving little convertible, huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah, just the interior even sitting here is just beautiful with the full console, brushed aluminum. It's really nice. And as we're going down the road, look where the steering wheel is at. Perfectly straight going down the road. It's, the steering wheel is in amazing condition. 70, 75, just like that. I mean, what a great car. As far as our brakes go, we do have disc brakes. And we're and coming power. in hot. We're going to even make it, I think. Well, I'm going to turn on the times, but look at that. Power brakes work perfect, no pull left or right. Yeah, even out over the hood again, that deluxe hood. It's a really pretty car. You have the turn signals on the hood. Power steering works good too. Yeah, it does. Goofy noise and power steering. gears and then if you want to rip around town a little bit you can yeah, absolutely. speaking of that why don't we take this baby through town yeah we can we're heading right into we got about probably 30 mile an hour wind today we're yeah, kind of driving sucks. right into it so that's a lot of the wind noise you hear right now you're not going to hear on a day that's not 35 mile an hour wind yeah and as we go through the interior even these pieces down here i'm um, just in excellent shape you know we didn't get to a lot of that in our uh, walk around video but the dash pad's great the freaking Brushed aluminum is in excellent shape, and I bought some of those before. They're super expensive to, to make a GT out of one of these cars. Original uh, window sticker here, or window sticker, got owner's manual. It's made of Tomata. Again, here's our brakes. Nice pedal. Love the power disc brakes on it. Wipers are working just like they should. Heater fan worked, air conditioning worked as well. We did throw a charge at it. Nice. So heat and air work, power top works, all the gauges work, horn works. Can we figure out if the audio box works? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it's a neat car. Yeah, it's a really nice car. Tack works. Every single thing works on this car as far as uh, all the, the gauges and stuff like that go. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link down in the comments of this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.